Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Yesterday, On One Software announced that they're coming out with a new version of their flagship product, Photo Raw. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of On One Photo Raw, version 2022. Unfortunately, I do not have a beta version of the software yet. It is going to be released to the general public later this month, and they did promise that they'll get me a beta version before it is released. As soon as I get that beta version, I'll immediately do a video on it demonstrating everything that's new in it so that you could decide whether or not you want to purchase it or upgrade your copy of On One photo raw. Now today what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to their website and go over what's new in photo raw 2022. Also at the end I'll talk about their pre-sale pricing. In the description below this video I'll have links to their website so you can see everything I'm showing you. Also that pre-sale pricing and my discount code will be listed in the description below the video as well. Now, what is new in On One Photo Raw 2022? Well, the main thing is they now have a sky replacement AI, so a sky swap AI, they call it. Uh, this of, is, of course, an answer to Luminar AI, where you could just replace the sky in a couple clicks, and Photoshop as well. Uh, there's a little video here. When you look in the description below this video, you could link to this page and watch the video, and it is very similar to those other applications just a click and you replace the sky automatically you don't have to do any drawing they do give you a little more control to modify the mask directly uh, that photoshop and luminar don't allow you at least at this point so that um, may be a plus as well so it looks pretty good if you're into swapping skies uh, then you'll be happy that this has been added to it now you may know that a month or two ago uh, on one came out with no noise AI it's a standalone product uh, you use it as a plugin in the current version of on one photo raw and it works as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop well the new version of on one version 2022 noise AI will come with it and it will be integrated into on one photo raw 2022 so you don't have to purchase it separately it will be integrated into the software so that's nice too because you know it's a hassle to send things to plugins you don't have to do that any longer the line mask tool is back uh, those of you that are familiar with previous versions of on one photo raw i think from maybe 2020 there used to be something called a line mask that if you were putting a mask let's say you're masking windows you're a real estate photographer and you have the uh a photograph of the inside of a room and the windows are blown out and because windows, generally speaking, are square, you would use a line mask. And it was real easy to mask out the window. And then you could, you know, affect the exposure of that window independently of the rest of the room. Or maybe you could substitute something in there, like a sky or something. Well, they got rid of the line mask in previous versions. Well, it's back. So that's something new, but it's an old thing that's new. So they brought back the line mask tool. Uh, custom thumbnails in browse. Those of you that are familiar with Lightroom know that in the brow when you're in the library module and you're in grid view, uh, the individual images in the grid have some information that is below and in some cases above the image or in the corner of the image. And in Lightroom, you could kind of tell it what information to show and what information to hide. Well, that behavior is now in on one photo raw 2022. So when you're in um, the browse module in on one and you're in grid view, you'll get some information and you could control what information is being shown there. Um, there's now a favorites pane so that you have to just read it directly to help you access frequently used folders and photos easier. We've added a favorites pane inside on one photo raws browse module. 
simply drag and drop a folder you access frequently to the favorites pane to create a shortcut for it. So if you often access a folder and you have a number of folders and you're often digging through all those folders to uh, find that folder that you often access, you could just drag it into the favorites pane and it will be there to you know find a little bit easier. Uh, this one I think is pretty cool. They've added or they're adding time-lapse video creation. So if you want to make a time-lapse video, uh, you could do that inside of On One Photo Raw. And uh, if anyone's, if you watch my videos, you know I've done time-lapse videos in Photoshop. I've demoed how to do it there. It's great that they're bringing it to um, On One Photo Raw as well. So I really like that feature. They've revamped the export um, dialog box in Photo Raw 2022. This they needed to do. Um, I really didn't like their export dialog and the entire export process. And it was really slow. When you went to export an image, it seemed to take forever. Hopefully, they not only revamped the export dialog, hopefully they sped it up as well. And you can see they've had over 100 suggestions from users and they've rebuilt the On One Photo Raw's export engine from the ground up. It is the most powerful export and image converter you can imagine. So that is welcome uh, because it was rather limited and it was slow. Now it appears that you have a lot more options when you export and hopefully it won't be as slow. This I think is really interesting, this next one. You could run Photoshop plugins directly inside of photo raw and i'm thinking okay what's that and let me just read what it says here you can now run plugins made for adobe photoshop right inside of on one photo raw so if you have been collecting plugins for years you can now access them alongside your favorite filters and tools the best part is you don't need to launch or subscribe to photoshop to access your plugins. They're right there where you need them alongside Photo Raw's powerful editing and masking tools. So I watched this little video. Again, I'll have a link to this webpage so you could check this out. Apparently, uh, if you purchase a plugin for something and it says that it comes with a uh, plugin for Photoshop, it'll automatically work in On One Photo Raw 2022 as well, even if you don't have Photoshop on your computer. Uh, so that, I, I gotta check that out. That sounds impossible in a way, but that's pretty cool. So if you have a, a plugin that works in Photoshop, it should work in On One Photo Raw 2022 as well. And finally, um, back up and restore an On One Photo Raw uh, this is needed too. This is something that it should have had, in my opinion, a while ago. And I'll just read again what it says. Even though we seem to live in a seamless technological world, technical difficulties do happen. To ensure your work is always accessible and up to date, you can easily save, recover, or migrate your work with the backup and restore feature inside of On One Photo Raw. So you can back up your stuff. So that's good. Uh, really good actually. So those are the major new features. Again, I'm supposed to get a beta copy of the software before anyone else actually gets it. And when I do get that beta copy, I'll immediately do a video and I'll demo, um, hopefully all of these. So you could see what I'm talking about, what they're talking about, I guess, and decide for yourself whether or not you want to upgrade or purchase it if you ha don't already own it. Now the pre-order, let's talk about that real quick. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link. I do have a discount code. I'm not sure if the discount code works on pre-orders. Um, it did last year, so hopefully it does this year. Uh, you could save a few more dollars. Uh, basically, um, if you purchase it, now first of all, you could purchase it outright or you could do a subscription, either way. Uh, so you know how Lightroom and Photoshop is subscription only now? On one is either. You could either purchase it outright or subscribe to it. During the pre-order period, you get uh, some extras. You get On One Autumn Brush Collection, On One Autumn Texture Collection, On One Golden Hour LUT Collection, uh, On One Autumn Preset Collection, and On One Autumn Sky Collection. So those are extras you get. And uh, again, you could subscribe right here or you could purchase it if you own, if you click on or just hover over upgrade eligibility, if you 
owners of any older on one product qualified for the upgrade pricing. So I'm reading that if you own an even on one photo raw 10, all right, something really old, uh, you'll still qualify for this uh, $79.99 uh, upgrade pricing. It gets you, uh, you own the software upright and you get those bonuses. If you don't own any on one product, never have, uh, then you just purchase it outright for a hundred bucks, ninety nine ninety nine, and again you get those extras. So it does sound pretty good. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not too, you know, the sky thing's nice, but that's not. I think what I'm most excited about uh, for me is um, probably the time lapse video and the export, uh, you know, uh, functionality being changed. Um, hopefully, and this Photoshop plugins directly, I'm really, I'm a little skeptical about that. I want to check that out for myself and see how that works. So those three things, um, I'm really excited about, although I, I will admit everything here is pretty cool. The sky replacement is pretty cool too. So, uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think of on one photo raw 2022? And do you have an older version? What do you think of it? Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.